How's it going everybody? I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're doing a quick tutorial video on mixing NVIDIA GPUs with AMD GPUs in Hive OS. This is going to be more of like a tutorial video and a how-to video. We're going to be setting up the worker inside Hive OS and we're going to see it kind of working. I'm going to tell you which miners to choose and all the issues that I've had in the past when I mixed those two together. Now, from, ex my, from my own experience, when I mixed AMD and, G and NVIDIA together, I've had stability issues. Um, some miners wouldn't even hash. Uh, sometimes the rigs would crash. Uh, certain AMD GPUs wouldn't hash at full rate. I've had all sorts of issues when mixing AMD and NVIDIA together. So since then, I've kind of done my best effort when like designing my rigs and setting them up to separate them, separate them from each other. Uh, and it worked out for me a lot better than mixing them together. However, in this case, I have a 6700 XT, which was causing me stability issues in another rig. And I recently acquired a 1660, uh, non-super 1660 uh, NVIDIA GPU. And I have a free motherboard and a PSU and a CPU and all of that. And I'm going to mix them together in one rig. This is going to be all in HiveOS. So I'm going to switch my screens over here and I'll show you what we have. So the first thing that we're going to do is add our worker. We're going to go to the plus sign here at the top in Hive OS, and I'm going to hit add worker. And I'm going to call this uh, for the sake of uh, this video mix rig or mixed rig. Uh, I'm going to hit add and it's going to give me basically these kind of instructions uh, with a download rig.config file uh, for this specific worker. All I have to do is download this uh, file into my computer. Uh, and basically cut it or paste it, cut, 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 paste or move it or put it on the SSD where I flashed my uh, HiveOS operating system on. Once I do that, uh, boot up into HiveOS on your rig and in a couple of minutes, probably one to two minutes, you're gonna be able to, uh, you're gonna see the worker active inside your farm. So right now it's gonna show, uh, it's not online yet if I click on it. Uh, it's going to take a couple of minutes and it's going to show up with the GPUs, assuming that both of them are kind of installed properly and HiveOS recognizes them. So let's go to that. I've already set this up once uh, in the past before to make sure that it works properly. So I'm going to go to that right now. All right. So I refreshed my uh, miner and here's the first issue that we're having. I'm already, I already saw that the Phoenix miner has already rebooted. So what happened over here, you can see my 6700 XT and my GTI 1660. It defaulted to my default flight sheet, which is Phoenix Miner. Now, because I've already tried this, I know for a fact that Phoenix Miner, for whatever reason, isn't capable of having these, these two cards hashed together. The 1660 hashes and it gets like 23, 21, 22 mega hash, but the 6700 XT doesn't at all. I'm going to remote into it and we'll see what's going on. And I already saw that it crashed once. Now, given that this is happening, we're going to talk about a solution that I've already looked into and I've already tried multiple times and it was stable. So uh, let me remote into my miner. Okay. All right, check this out. You can see over here that the 6700 isn't hashing. I got zero mega hash and the 1660 is hashing. And this is the kind of stuff that makes me not like mixing NVIDIA and, and AMD together. Okay, let's just stop the miner for now. And we're gonna fix it together. Uh, I'm gonna, where is it? Click over here and I'm gonna stop the miner. So I think this is a Phoenix miner problem. However, I've tried Ethermine as well. It didn't work and I've already tried uh, NB miner, I think, and it didn't work. The only miner that it worked with was uh, LOL miner. So the first thing that we have to do is we're gonna have to set up a new flight sheet. And this is kind of what I wanted to show you in this uh, video. Uh, we're gonna pick uh, Ethereum. Uh, we're just gonna go to my Coinbase wallet. I mine on Ethermine right here. Um, and I'm in I'm on the East Coast. So we're gonna go to US East, apply. And this is what's important because we're mixing uh, AMD and NVIDIA, NVIDIA together. We have to pick a dual miner. So we've got ETH mine, B miner, LOL miner, Phoenix miner. Phoenix miner has worked out for me 
for the most part on all of my rigs except this one and i'm not sure why if anybody if anybody knows the answer let me know the only one that worked was lol minor so we're going to click on lol minor lol minor i guess uh, and i'm going to call this uh, lol minor uh, sheet perfect we're going to create the flight sheet uh, i see it over here we're going to go back to my mixed rig and i'm going to change the flight sheet so uh actually instead of yeah i'm gonna change the flight sheet i'm gonna i guess i could unset it but what's best to do is i'm gonna launch it from here hello all minor and i'm gonna hit apply and we're gonna wait we're gonna see if they're gonna hash i'm gonna then remote into it as well i shall start this takes a little while Okay, perfect. Let's go into it. Look at that. I see that I recognize both GPUs. It built the DAG and I'm seeing that the 6700 is hashing at 43.55 and the 1660 is hashing at 20.9. Now I'm gonna go back to um, Hive OS and I'm going to apply my overclocks. I know that this is a Samsung and this is a Samsung and I've already figured out what the uh, overclocks over here. I've got 1300 for the core clock, 625 for the core voltage, uh, 700 for the memory controller voltage, memory clock we're going to set it at 1075, memory voltage is going to be 1250, fan I'm going to set it at 80% since it's a bit, it's a bit hot. And then my power limit is going to be 110 and i'm going to hit apply and for my 1660 we're going to do minus 200 for the core and memory is going to be 1100 i'm going to set my fan to 80 as well 80 percent and power limit to 80 percent so after setting this we're going to go back to our shell we're going to see what that does to our hashing rates 44 it just went up to 46, which is amazing. And I see my 6060 is going up to 21.5. I expect this to go all the way up to maybe 24 or 23.5, 24, look at that. So 6700 went up to 46.5 and then my um, 1660 went up to 24. Uh, perfect. Awesome. So I'm gonna end the video over here. Again, in this video, I wanted to show whether it's possible to mix 6700 XT with a 1660, basically an AMD card with an NVIDIA card. Whether that's something that I like or not, probably not. Again, I've had many issues in the past, including the one that we just saw with Phoenix Miner where the 6700 XT was not hashing. Then I've tried everything. I have the latest Hive OS um, image flashed. Uh, I've tried it in Windows. I was having similar problems. I think it's a minor problem and I do not know why. Um, so for now, it's confirmed that if you're mixing 6700 XT with a 1660 uh, in Hive OS, all you gotta do is go and create a new flight sheet, select LOL Miner, which is a dual GPU Miner, AMD and Nvidia, and then apply your overclocks on the volts and it should be good to go. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great day.